motors can either operate with AC current or DC current. DC current motors can be categorized under three main categories. Separately excited DC motors, self-excited DC motors, and permanent magnet DC motors. All these types of motors can be either brushed or brushless, whose rotor is either an in-runner or out-runner. Self-excited DC motors can wound it differently, such as in shunt wound, series wound, and compound wound. Compound excited wound DC motor can either be cumulative compound, differential compound, or interpole compounded DC motor, all of whose wounds can be long shunt or short shunt, and all these DC motors will be explained in this channel in the upcoming days. We will see all types of DC motors we mentioned above. We will see construction details, working principles, advantages and disadvantages, open characteristics, application and the rest. In this video, we want to look at brush DC motor. But before that, I have all these DC motor models I am using for this explainer video on CG Trader Model Store. If you want to purchase them, it will help this channel grow. Link of the model in the description of this video. Also because of much resources involved, I can help anyone who wants computer-aided design services. In short, I am a freelancer in the field of modeling, animation, graphic design, and architectural visualization. Suppose you want our services kindly email me link in the description. Also if you can financially support this channel in every little donation you have, we will appreciate link in the description of this channel. Lastly, subscribe this channel. Brush DC motors are electromechanical devices that converts electrical energy into mechanical energy. They consist of several key components, including armature, commutator, brushes, and in some cases permanent magnets. Brush DC motor in our today's consideration is permanent magnet brush DC motor. It contains outer cover which protect the interior part of the motor. It also contains permanent magnets for magnetic field provision. Brushes, which leads the current to the armature part of motor. Brush support, which hold the brushes in the motor. Commutator, which is linked with armature windings to lead current through the rotor part. Iron core, in the armature which hold coils. Armature windings which is responsible for magnetic field generation. Then we have a shaft, where we attach our load. In order to understand how magnetic field interacts, also to understand different principles and laws such as Lenz's law, Faraday's law, Lorentz force, among others, watch our previous videos. Because these laws are really necessary here, better you understand them. Now let's look at the construction details of permanent magnets brushless DC motor. We have two magnets placed at 0 degrees and 180 degrees. Then armature iron core with coils at 120 degrees each. The terminals of the coils touches each commutator. Here the first coil has its terminals on the commutators this and this. similar to the second and third coils. There are three commutators, which are just curved metals for current switching about the shaft, which is the center of rotation. The commutators are arranged at every 120 degrees. That is 360 divide B3. They are arranged in such a way that they do not make mutual contact. 
Commutators rotate together with the rotating shaft. Each commutator is connected to an end of one coil and to an end of another coil. And the three commutators and three coils forms a ring-shaped network. Two brushes are fixed at 0 degrees and 180 degrees positions. So as to make contact with the commutators, the brushes are connected to the external DC power source. And current flows in the path, brush commutator coil brush. Now let's see how to achieve counterclockwise rotation from the initial state. Suppose coil A is uppermost and that a power supply is connected through the brushes. Positive on the left hand side and negative on the right hand side. A large current flows from the left brush through the commutator to the coil A in the uppermost. Using right hand rule. This upper part of the coil A on the outside. Becomes a south pole. However, because of one half of the current of coil A flows in the opposite direction, flowing from the left brush to coil B and C, the outside of coils B and C becomes weak north pole. Therefore, due to magnetic fields generated by these coils, and the repulsion and attraction of the magnets, forces act to cause the coils to rotate in counterclockwise. For further rotation in counterclockwise direction, Next, in a state in which coil A has moved 30 degrees counterclockwise. The right brush is in contact with the two commutators. Current flows continuously in coil A from the left brush to the right brush. And the outside of the coil maintains an S-pole. The same amount of current in coil A flows in coil B. And the outside of coil B is a strong north pole. Here the two end of the coil C are in a short circuit state due to the brushes. So that current does not flow, and magnetic field is not generated. Under these conditions, also a force is received causing further counterclockwise rotation. Then with this continuation, forces are received continuously to move the upper coil to the left and the lower coils to the right, to continue counterclockwise. When rotation continue a further 30 degrees and the another 30 degrees, the process repeats itself. In which, when the coil rises above the horizontal axis in the center of the coil. Outside end changes to an south pole. And if it falls below the axis it changes to a north pole. That force is repeatedly received that moves the upper side coil leftwards and the lower side rightwards. In both cases, counterclockwise. As a result the rotor always rotates the counterclockwise direction. If the power supply connections are reversed, so the left brush is negative, and the right brush is positive. The magnetic field generated by the coils are reversed. Hence the direction of the forces acting on the coils are reversed and the rotor rotates in the clockwise direction. Moreover, when the power supply is disconnected, magnetic fields causing the rotation to continue are no longer generated. And the rotor stops. Now, now let's analyze some of the equations used in the permanent brush DC motors. First in permanent magnet brush DC motor, we should note that the magnetic flux produced by the permanent magnets is constant and provides magnetic field in which the armature rotates. The first equation we should consider here is Electromotive force or back EMF The EMF generated in a motor is proportional to the speed of the motor and the magnetic flux density within it. E is equal to Ke times omega. Where E is the back EMF, Ke is the motor's voltage constant. And omega is the angular velocity. The second part of the equations in permanent magnet brush DC motor is Torque equation. The torque produced by a brush DC motor. Is directly proportional to the current flowing through its windings and the strength of the magnetic field. T is equal KT times I. 
where T is torque, KT is motor's torque constant, and I is current. The third equation we should consider in permanent magnet brush DC motor is Voltage equation The voltage applied to the brush DC motor is equal to sum of the back EMF and the voltage drop due to the armature resistance voltage drop. V is equal to E plus I times RA. Where V is the applied voltage. E is the back EMF. I is the current. I is the armature resistance. The fourth equation which should be taken into consideration is Power equation The mechanical power output of a motor is the product of its torque and angular velocity. P is equal to T times omega. Where P is power, T is the torque, and omega is the angular velocity. The final equation we must take into consideration is Speed-torque relationship in DC motor. The speed of a brush DC motor is inversely proportional to the torque load applied to it. Omega is equal to omega note minus T over KT. Where omega is angular velocity. Omega note is the no load speed. T is the torque. And KT is the torque constant. Brushed DC motors find applications in wide range of industries and everyday devices due to their versatility and simplicity. In automobile systems, in household appliances, in robotics, in toys, in small tools such as electric drills, industrial equipment such as conveyor belts, in aerospace and defense, in medical devices, entertainment such as used in cameras. But these types of motors have some unique operating characteristics for them to operate in the applications we mentioned above. The operating characteristics of a brush DC motor depends on various factors such as voltage, current and load. 1. Speed. The speed of a brush DC motor is directly proportional to the applied voltage and is inversely proportional to the mechanical load. 2. Torque. The torque produced by a motor is directly proportional to the current flowing through the armature windings. 3. Efficiency The efficiency of brush DC motor depends on the factors such as brush and bearing frictions, as well as other ele electrical losses. 4. Speed torque relationship here, brush DC motor exhibit a predictable speed torque relationship. As the mechanical load increases, the speed decreases, and vice versa. 5. Voltage and current. The relationship between voltage, current, speed, and torque can be characterized by the motor's voltage constant KE and torque constant KT. 6. Starting and stopping. Brush DC motors can start and stop quickly, and can be reversed quickly by changing the polarity of the applied voltage or direction of current. 7. Temperature effect. Performance of a brush DC motors can be affected by temperature changes, with increase in temperature leading to decreases in efficiency and performance. Understanding these operating characteristics is essential for selecting the appropriate brush DC motor for a specific application and optimizing its performance. With understanding those operating characteristics, let's see why should we have permanent magnets, instead of self-excitation or separate excitation, and also vice versa. In short, advantages and disadvantages permanent magnet brush DC motors. Advantages of Permanent Magnet Brush DC Motor One, High Efficiency Permanent Magnet's Brush DC Motor tends to have higher efficiency compared to traditional brush DC motors because they eliminate the need for field windings, reducing energy losses. 
2. Compact size. With the permanent magnets providing the magnetic field, the overall size of the motor can be smaller, making it suitable for applications where space is limited. 3. High power density. Due to their compact size and high efficiency, permanent magnet brush DC motors offer a high power to weight ratio, making them ideal for applications requiring high power output in a small package. 4. Improved performance. Permanent magnets provide a stronger magnetic field, resulting in improved motor performance, in terms of speed, torque, and responsiveness. 5. Reduced maintenance. Since there are no field windings to maintain, permanent magnet brush DC motors require less maintenance, compared to other types of brush DC motors. I know maybe you will tend to opt for permanent magnet brush DC motor because you don't want spend on the field of regular maintenance, thus let's look at some of the main disadvantages of permanent magnet brush DC motors. Disadvantages of permanent brush DC motor 1. Cost Permanent magnet brush DC motors can be more expensive to manufacture, compared to traditional brush DC motors. This is due to cost of permanent magnets. 2. Limited speed range. Permanent magnet brush DC motors may have a limited speed range, compared to other types of motors, especially at high speeds, which can affect their suitability for certain applications. 3. Temperature sensitivity. Permanent magnets can lose their magnetic properties at high temperatures, affecting motor performance. Proper thermal management is essential to prevent overheating and ensure long-term reliability. 4. Difficulty in controlling the speed. While permanent magnet brush DC motors offer excellent speed control capabilities, they may not be as easily controlled over a wide range compared to other motor types. 5. Potential demagnetization. In extreme operating conditions, such as high temperatures or overcurrent situations, demagnetization, which can lead to a loss of motor performance and efficiency. In overall, permanent magnet brush DC motors offers several advantages in terms of efficiency, size, and performance. But they also come with certain limitations that may be separately excited or self-excited DC motors may overcome. And that we will look at them in our next video. But instead of having a brushed permanent magnet DC motor, we opt to have permanent magnet brushless DC motor. How do they run? What do we mean by in-runner and out-runner? But all these will be in our next video. If you don't want to miss such information, also I hope you found this video informative, and if you did, kindly subscribe, like, and share. See you in the next one.